in this video i will show you how you can draw a circle in the google maps so uh, in order to do this we have to declare a circle variable so let's declare a variable for the circle circ variable circle equals gms circle uh, i will draw this circle uh, at some center so at that center i will add a marker to it so let's uh, add marker that marker equals gms marker um, then uh, set markers position so i will set marker dot position equals cll location coordinate uh, latitude then longitude okay yeah. then we have to define the markers map view so marker map equals map view okay and then if i run this project <coughs> sorry then the marker is shown on the google map now i have to draw the uh, circle at the center of this marker so what i will do I will define center point of the circle so how I will do this I will do let circle center equals CLL location coordinate I will add the same line here as well and circle position circle dot position equals circle center okay then I will uh, set the color of the circle so circle dot fill color equals UI color Red zero point three five green color zero blue would be zero as well, then alpha would be zero point zero five. then the stroke color of the circle would be stroke color equals ui color ui color dot red stroke width would be equals one then i will set this circle to the map view so circle dot map equals map view now if I run if I run this project it will show me the circle at the center of the marker circle isn't shown let me check what's the issue yeah I have to set default radius for the circle so what I will do circle dot radius equals let's say 100 
the circle is shown in the Google Map. Now my next next task would be I want this circle value to be changed uh, dynamically and I will animate this this changing behavior. So in order to achieve this I will add a slider to our storyboard. The slider will define the circle radius. So let's add a view. Okay. Then give the top constraints. And then height equal height. And I will uh, give this view a simple light gray color. And this view I will add, add a slider. Cool width. Let's give it 0 0.8 or multiplier. Also define some value for the circ this slider. Okay, so the slider would slider value would start from the zero to uh, let's say thousand. Okay, and the initial value would be let's say two hundred. Right. Um, then I will add instance lower view controller class. All right, and let's make IB outdated for this slider. Slider, then we have to add its action when the value of the slider would be changed. Uh, slider value change, okay, and now whenever the value for the slider is changed you should show the value so let's make ui slider current let current value equals make the slider dot value then I will print this value if I run this project I run this project you can see the value is being changed so what I will do I will convert this into integers so that the float value would not would be converted to integer as you can see the value is being changed into integer Now what I have to do whenever this value is changed, I have to update the radius for the circle. <coughs> Sorry, uh, I will make a private function. Private function, uh, it will, what, uh, this private function will take a parameter of this value and will update this radius. And uh, whenever the ra this radius change, it will, sh it will be shown with some animation. <coughs> Date circle, the parameter of value, <coughs> teacher.
Bridges equals uh, radio. Okay, then um, let update equals GMS camera update dot fit bounce and um, this bounce would be cell dot circle dot bounce what this found is I have to make an extension uh, for the circle which will take the bound of the circle uh, in order to do this we will create a new file a shift file with the name of GMS circle uh, I have written this function before so I will copy this function and add in here okay so what does this function does uh, make sure whenever the value of the slider changes so this circle this circle shouldn't uh, shouldn't be should move outside this view that is I mean the, the width of the screen let's achieve this and you will see what I'm talking about Okay. Nice view. Dot animate. With GMS camera update. Okay. Since we are updating this view, we will do it in the main thread. So, dispatch queue. Dot main. Dot async. Now, if I run my project, nothing will happen because I haven't called this function here and whenever the slider value is changed. So, I will call this function here. Okay, update circle into current value. C should be small. current value now run the project okay as you can see whenever I up update the circle my um, Google Maps camera is also any uh, updated with some animation like this uh, if I don't add this line you will see why I have I have added this bound uh, extension As you can see, is whenever I increase the uh, uh, radius of the circle, my Google Maps camera didn't update. So in order to update this, I have added this section extension, and whenever the uh, camera is updated, I animate it with this line of code. So let's run again. As you can see the difference clearly so that's it for the circle